What up, everybody? Welcome to a super special episode of Black Blasphemy. We are the Arcade Tokens. I'm Patrick Cloud. Leo Thomas, aka Mr. Slick Liv. I'm the Anomaly Will Farrow. And today we have an even bigger group. We got Working Wild's own Tony Baker. What it do, man? What's happening, y'all? We out What's here. going on, Tony? It was happening. And instead of just having one guest this week, we are also having Battle Club's own Chris C.P. Powell. What it do? What's up? What's up? What's up? I'm very excited. Very excited to be here, and also a little afraid. <laughs> so this is this is different because this is the first time we got uh, five people to choose from instead of the usual, and uh, we we have a lot of leftover uh, blasphemies from your guys' previous episodes. So we're gonna start doing these super episodes just to see how they go. It's gonna be extra extra blasphemy. I don't know so, if I like how I was feeling that day. <laughs> <laughs> and just so you guys know i actually will be writing you guys in just in case y'all don't remember i'll write y'all in the chat to let y'all know i'll privately write y'all in the chat if y'all don't remember if this was you or not okay <laughs> all right okay. I'm so just sitting there like whoever this is is crazy <laughs> <laughs> so if this is your first time watching just know that we're each going to take a turn it's basically a game show so there's four categories there's food there's music there's movies and t televisions and there's general black culture okay we pick out of one of those something blasphemous that one of us submitted is going to pop up and that person has to guess who it is using deductive reasoning, which I think I'm okay at, but you guys are expert liars. So <laughs> we shall see. Now, who is going to be first on the pedestal of blasphemy? I'll go first. Let me Will see if Farrow. I can figure this out. Mr. Pharaoh. Oh, uh, let's do movies and go ahead and get Tony's blood pressure boiling. All right, <laughs> let's movies start early. Yes. I have now let's uh you know obviously we use this time to throw each other under the bus just to make our guests comfortable uh what was one of the bad ones last time i believe cleo said eddie murphy does not have a funny stand-up okay i said that <laughs> <laughs> i said that Cleo wow. just be trolling at that <laughs> he just said that to a rise out of people what do you mean, Tony? Come on, bro. Have was Delirious really delirious all that was wrong? Delirious was hilarious, bro. We Have talked you seen about Delirious this, and man. Raw? Did you see both mm -hmm. of them? I seen both of them. They what order did you see them in? That's important. I don't remember. As a, I think as I, a youngin who wasn't born at that time, what order did you see them in? I think I saw the red jumpsuit one first. So you Me saw too. Raw first? No, yeah. Delirious was red. Delirious was red. Raw was purple? Purple. Yeah. Okay. Here, here we go, by the way. This should also already get the plug. Here we go. Wait, wait, right. wait, wait, wait. Ooh. Ooh. Hey. There you go. Hold wait, on. This, this is today. This is today. This is this this happened. So I don't like the fact that that's the first thing out the gate after y'all just came at me for the comedy. Hey, listen, Leo, it, I'm it, already it, like <laughs> we go wild. Immediately everyone's gonna put their fingers at me. I wouldn't so, say that about Richard Pryor, man. I would, he, so, so let me read it. Let me read yeah, it. Yeah, I was about to say. Richard Pryor wasn't legendary. His Ooh. comedy doesn't age well like some of the other greats. That's they, two disrespects. I was just about to say Richard they went Pryor. out of their way to do it twice. <laughs> That's <laughs> a double up on disrespect. I'm already, I'm already taking CP out of the running on this. I oh. I know CP would not say this. So All right, we'll start the, let's start the timer real quick so, so Will's under that pressure. Yeah. Okay. Um, I, don't think, I don't think Tony would say this, but the other three of you, I think, would. I CP, CP is very honest. So is Patrick, and so is Cleo. Patrick, what's one thing that you like about Richard Pryor? Um, the first time I saw Richard Pryor, I was actually really sucked into his act, like his when he goes into his super act outs and he lets them live for a long time, like his jokes about being on heroin or heroin addicts. And he just, he stays there almost to the point where it's like, are you trying to be funny? I thought that that was like a, something on stage I've never seen before. So he's a really good storyteller. Um, okay, uh, Cleo, mm. who's the guy that uh, Richard Pryor did a lot of uh, buddy movies with? I don't like Tony's analysis face. Buddy <laughs> movies with Richard Pryor. Oh, the white actor. He was he did toy and something. You don't else. you don't have to know his name, but what's his biggest movie that he was in that everybody knows? Ah oh, man, it's the here it's the here no evil see no evil joint. Where the one's blind or one, one's deaf, right? 
Yo, Cleo doesn't know Richard Pryor. Cleo's looking real suspect right now. Wait, but come I on, bro, I would before? never say that about Richard Pryor, guys. Yes, so, would. so, but you don't know it, though. So you don't know it. You said it about Eddie Murphy, Cleo. Yeah. Like, I did, yes, Pryor. I know what I said about this Eddie Murphy. I stand behind what I said, about, but I wouldn't say this okay. about Pryor. Every comedian wants to be like Richard Pryor. Mm. Every mm. comedian mm. wants to be like Richard Pryor. That means other people like Richard Pryor. Okay, hey, CP, Richard. CP. This thing I gotta ask, CP. What's what up? was the last role that Richard Pryor was in? That doesn't prove the last role that he was in. That's tricky because he was in a wheelchair on Martin when he came and visited the set. Um, uh, I mean, like really, like Harlem Nights. I want to say, but I'm trying to think. Was there a role after you were, that? I'll, I'll give you Martin because you were close. It was Malcolm and Eddie. Malcolm and Eddie was his last appearance. I don't um, mean he like him. Man. That didn't. Was, that I mean, wasn't, that wasn't, that wasn't that me that saying was. that he. Liked I him. wish you would have asked me a question that led to whether or not I thought he was legendary. Or, right? you know, <laughs> that was an appearance. No, 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 no. That would have no. alluded to that because I would have answered it. trivia. But you asked no. me what his last role was. You know. <laughs> this, so is, this is this is just for my analysis. I think I think, is, I think I think you said it, Will. But go ahead. <laughs> we'll, come, we'll come out of the interrogation room with no new info. <laughs> How'd it go? Hey, but wait a minute know, though. Guys. Wait a minute though. Wait a minute though. Why did Tony Baker jump to the? I thought it was Tony's turn. The way he ruled me out and Tony's quiet, man. Y'all just don't ask Tony because he jumped off. Well, with well, the, well just to be, Tony out. No, no. Why well, he just ruled be, Tony out? I'm just saying. Well, Will to be was fair, still a suspect, right? No, yeah, no, 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 I no, think no. so. Hold on, CP. To be fair, the last time Tony was on here, we had a different format. So to catch Tony up, it's now back to where I investigate and I uh, suspect one of y'all. And pick oh, you. okay. All right. Yeah. So he bad. played a different format for me. Uh, so that's why. Oh, okay. I'll okay. give him that. Okay. But you can so still now, you can still analyze because I know this who is did true. It. I know who said this. Hmm. Let's see. I think I know, man. With your body language. <laughs> All right, two minutes is up. What's the All right. Uh two two disrespects. Um I am going to go with I might have to go with CP on this one. And I think CP might have a reason to explain it. I don't know, man. This was hard. This one is hard because I I can see y'all saying this and having a reason for saying it or just something that's complete BS. It's very extreme though. Why so serious? Oh, wow. Wow. CP. Why so serious? Wait, it was CP? Is it you? <laughs> Indeed it was. And I'll explain why. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. I'm like Batman. Yo, he was the one I ruled out. Yup, Tony, you can't do that in here. People are deceitful. People oh. are evil, Tony. People are evil in here. The That's stage sad. is yours, CP. Here's the thing. Here's the thing that I will say. Um, one of my one of my one of my most famous things that I do is my Reggie Bow character that I coin as being weed. Who I got that from indirectly, indirectly, like a DLP off of 80,000 mirrors was Richard Pryor's ability to personify anything. He would talk about how the floor could talk or how the door would tell off on something. I thought that was very, very innovative. I think that was his superpower. I think that mm -hmm. his storytelling was second to Bill Cosby. And I think that the material that he chose to do was very shocking at that time. But that material didn't stand up as much as Eddie Murphy's raw and delirious material has stood up. When you watch a Richard Pryor special, you appreciate the technique, you appreciate the stage presence, you appreciate you know, the fact that he is a great storyteller, second to Bill Cosby. But when the material hits, I think that much like hip hop, you know, I'm not gonna sit here and say that, you know, if a if a DJ play hip hop, a hip a hip that I would run out to the goddamn dance floor and start crumping. I think that we understand that it's classic. We understand what it did, but I think that there was a huge jump from the daring, funny, cool rock star shit. Then the I'm a black guy and I'm kind of nervously weak, but showcasing that in a way that you fall in love with me. I like the cool shit better. And that's what I chose to gravitate towards. I didn't laugh a lot when I saw Richard Pryor, but I did appreciate like a lot of those old techniques though. 
I'm gonna tell y'all why I disagree with what CP said on the not being legendary. And his, com his comedy doesn't age well simply because he has so many children in comedy. When you watch Def Comedy Jam's original run, it's 1,800 Richard Pryors on that show. You can <laughs> see where you can see all of them watching Richard Pryor's special. You can just wow. you can hear it in everything he says on his specials. You'd be like, "Yo, this is like watching Def Jam," which came from him, which makes him legendary. He birthed so many comedians. That but he guess what, Tony? Legendary. He that style more became comedians than Bill Cosby. That's I agree with that. I agree with that completely. That's what I said was legendary. what I said was second storyteller. I think the fact that Bill Cosby had to stay clean, he developed a story that would be so in depth. I think his stories were better than Richards. I wouldn't I didn't say Richards weren't great, but what I will say is this. You said he wasn't legendary. Right. Because anybody who tried to copy Richard's style, those weren't the guys that were really, really making it. it like, like who are they? Who are those hundreds of comedians that Tony that Every, were copying Richard? Everybody on Def Jam. Oh, bro. Listen, it, like, everybody you at, on Def Jam. You look at, but you look at jokes back then, like Red Fox, his whole wash your ass, and how black people use that as a term for washing your ass and washing your ass to the point where he said, if you can't wash your whole ass, you wash your ass whole. That was during that time. That's probably one of the most clever things ever said. I still laugh when I see that. There was, There is a style of comedy that I think is uh, laying out vulnerabilities and, and explaining those. And I think Richard Pryor did a good job of, man, I was a punk. These man and man, hey, I, hey, I joined every gang that it was. But then there's, and so that became, you know, niggas like, bro, I'm, it's a lot of comedians right now who are really, really big. And I feel like a lot of their roles are like the, the duh or the, the, the not coordinated, not sweet nigga. And so for me, it's like who I identify with, it just wasn't that. I wasn't, I couldn't be no lame. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, bro, like, I just, I didn't identify with him. I respected him, but I felt like he wasn't the type of nigga that I am. And I felt like uh, somebody like Eddie probably was. And I feel like a lot of people felt that way. People were just scared to say it because of how legendary his name was. He did birth a lot of comedians, but it's like, you know, that's so my it's opinion. It's safe to say that everybody agrees with the second part of this, but that first part is the one that's kind yeah. of- The first part, yeah, yeah. I, can, I can take the second yeah. part. I, I think right. that, I ain't gonna lie. I ain't part, gonna lie. I put the first part just to be jolting. I think at the time I was, feeling, I was just feeling to a slam the door spicy. open, like ah. I feeling a little spicy that day. But you know, I ain't gonna say I will. I will. I can peel back the legendary part, but I will say that he wasn't the greatest of all time. I can say okay. that. It's a good okay. one. I can respect I'll say that. that. Yeah. All right. All I'll right. Folks. That was a good Actual one. comedian said he ain't that guy. All right. Okay. I'll cool. go next, man. Can I go? Uh, can I go music? All right, when I hit music. Oh boy. All right. So um this is another very disrespectful when we go. So just like we said in classic bus throwing form, who would like to throw out some blasphemous things said on this show music? -wise? I don't I don't think Prince's music is that good. But also, <laughs> but also, but also but also Cleo doesn't think Stevie Wonder's music is timeless. That <laughs> that's the worst. That what? is the worst one. See how I what? built up to that? Bro, Stevie Wonder <laughs> is a blind Drake from 40 years ago. I don't want to hear that. Will Ferrell has never listened to an entire Biggie album. I don't want to hear nothing from nobody today. All right. That one that doesn't offend as many people as we thought it would. That, that doesn't take the heat off of what you said, sir. It don't, but that's Stevie okay. Wonder. I stand by what I said. I think Stevie Wonder <laughs> is be, he being bullshit for years. <laughs> You are oh, so man. lucky that Stevie doesn't watch this show. Cause I'll tell you what. <laughs> Blind shots. Oh, on. you're lucky he's not tuning in. Oh, he can hear uh, this up music. <laughs> I don't oh, know my who Big L is. Oh my God. Whoa. I know who this is. Off top, I think I know who this is. This kind of this dates you. Start the time, Kadim. All right, uh, you Mr. Cloud. Yes. We'll start with Mr. Cloud. Uh, do you know <laughs> who was directly influenced by Big L? Jay-Z. Good, good call. Tony, uh, give me a Big L record. MVP. What is it? You know it's not, you know it's not Tony. MVP. Bet. Um, Tony should have got this one because <laughs> now yeah. that Cleo's out, <laughs> it's... <laughs> <coughs> Big, 
see. <coughs> um, uh, how did Big L pass? Uh, it, it was like his liver or something like that. I know he was in a wheelchair. It, it wasn't like. Uh, and there. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> it was like what? second cell or something like that. I forgot how he passed. He was shot in the head. Oh, he was shot in the head. Oh, he okay. was killed. Wow. Now you see CP's lying face. It doesn't. Yeah, think it, he said sickle cell. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was something like that, bro. My evidently went out on a plank. Prodigy from Mob Deep. That's how he passed, unfortunately. He yeah, that's what I meant. Prodigy. Yeah, 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 yeah. M O B M O B D E E P. Well, well, Pharaoh, um, do you got any features for me from Big L? Man, listen here. Get these 90 minute tapes ready. We ain't, ain't got you ain't gotta finish your timer. Nope. I'm gonna go ahead and tell you who did it. Put this spotlight on me. It was me. I said it. Yeah, I don't know who the hell this guy is. You don't listen to New York stuff. I've heard all things, <laughs> yo, Big L was the hard <laughs> never. I don't know what this dude looked like. Never heard a track. Don't know a feature. Don't know where he's from. It's deep New York yeah. and you're from Houston. You know what's deep though? You know what's deep? You gotta you gotta know some hip hop heads to really know who Big L is. Like a lot of my homies in high school rap, so that's how I, I kind of used to hear it. But it was like he kind of died really like before like CDs and sharing music was really a thing. I think he died right before like deep that. New York. So it was kind of like you you know his radius of shareable music wasn't <coughs> that you know. So he is so, so you so you would say would you and Tony say? That is someone like if someone from myself is from Houston would have missed out on. Of course, of yeah. course, because, because you I, know what's crazy? It's people from Detroit, where I'm from, who don't know who Devin the Dude is, and that's insane to me. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, bro, you don't know who Devin the Dude is, and so you know what I'm saying I'm constantly putting cats on that, and it's like I get it. I think regionally, man, you know we have these huge heroes, and we can't even imagine their reach being outside, not being outside of our radius. And sometimes it just is the harsh reality. That's how it was with Mac Dre. I never heard of Mac Dre till he was murdered. Yep. Man. Same here. But you were in Chicago. You weren't even out here yet, right? No, he was murdered. I was in uh, Cali when he was murdered. <laughs> it's not uh, my child. <coughs> do that. But you know, growing up, I just didn't, I ain't know nothing about Mac Dre until he was murdered. Was that makes time. sense though. Yeah. So it was probably like that with Big L because his album went gold that came out after he was murdered. Mm -hmm. Well, he's a Harlem dude. Like, he Harlem has that mural out there in Brooklyn. It's like it was cool to see the fact that that mural like still stands. I think when <clears> me and Kadeem <throat> were just in New York, we were, got a chance to drive by it, and no graffiti around it, anything, just still <clears throat> pristine condition. No one's tagged over it. I'm just like that's respect. That's yeah, exactly. So that's how I see it. Yeah. 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 All right, T -Bake. T Bake, you up next. Okay. Uh, what are the categories I can pick from? Food, food and music. general. Food and general pop. Uh, black culture. Food and what general pop? General black culture, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna do uh food. Ooh, another another one that is just We're going with food. great <coughs> We're going with food. to the system. We got Mr. Like Crab Mac himself. Ah, blue box. You already know what it is. Wait till this endorsement come in. You gonna hate me. I'm uh, not gonna hate you, bro. I'm gonna be happy that you taking up all the craft mac. I'm I'm sure some there's there's some little Meyer somewhere like, yeah, we used to get craft mac, but no, Cleo's getting our shipment now. <laughs> That's just, I think that's like the biggest bro. You say what? That's I'm, the I'm gonna say one. this: the Kraft macaroni and cheese was good to me in college. But compared to real home cooked yeah, mac and cheese, there's no comparison, bro. It's <laughs> like noodles to spaghetti. Cleo thought he had a friend because <laughs> it's good. Like you know, you make it you be like, yeah, the mac and cheese. You in college, desperate measures. This is the best thing ever. Testing the waters really, really quick before we get into it. How many times a okay. year, Tony, have, do you eat that kind of mac and cheese? Well, I haven't had it in years. But okay. Uh, Chris, CP? Wait, now, how wait, many wait, times a year do I eat what kind cheese, of mac and right? cheese? No, the, 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 the one that you guys love. The whole oh, the whole oh, 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 oh. oh, I had that uh, probably last year or earlier this year. But remember, he's oh, vegan, 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 though. It was vegan mac and cheese, but it was homemade. CP? Yeah, I have it about maybe, I would say, Six times in a year, six wow. times. Okay, but six times, and I'm damn. Yeah. Oh yeah. No. Nah. That's why. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Right. You know what I'm saying. All right. Yeah. You ready? All right. Let's go. Let's do it. Plums are better than watermelon. Yeah. I can't get behind this because it's just not enough plum. It's just not that's, enough plum. That's a plum shortage. 
No, I'm just no, saying, no. like, plum is like blah, blah, blah. It's over. Depending on how, you know what I'm saying, what your bite radius is, you, you're done with the plum pretty quick. Big ass seed. You know, the seed is like a little <laughs> planet on the inside. The seed is like a moon. Now, here's, a, here's what I like about the plum. I can eat it all and just leave the seed. Mm -hmm. Right, I can get to a certain point, and then I can just put everything in my mouth and just leave nothing but the seed. I like that. Like with apple, you got to leave like the, the core and then the whole, oh, that's whole right. the whole little side piece yeah. around it, and then watermelon. You got the rind itself. If you eating it like that, yeah, the plum you can just chew on it, chew on it, and just throw it all in there, work it around, and poof, spit out the seed. But see, the plum tank. got that little belly button on it though, where that stem was. I don't think you can eat that part. That little asshole right there. That little. <laughs> Yeah, like, hole. I can I can handle the booty hole. <laughs> you know, on the other end, they just got the little beast thing that you can eat. Yeah, yeah. Um, but who said plums are better than water? I don't know. CP jumped out real, real quick and aggressive. He jumped thing. out quick. Did yeah. not know it was. I jumped out very quick, but I'm very passionate. I think I think watermelon, man. Here's the thing. I think a good watermelon is so hard to come by that I think it'll. It'll make you hate watermelon if, if you keep getting these the dry ones, the ones that look red but taste white. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I think that after, over time that could brainwash you. But until you get a good one of them good ones, bro, a plum can do nothing. It's they, it sounds like you've had a lot of bad watermelon though. Watermelons right. come in pizza slices, man. All right, cool. Hey, y'all do what you want. You said you said there's not enough plum, like you can't get you two do what plums. you want. No, I'm I saying, bro, you can get two plums, but it's like. I mean, plums you gotta eat to. Let me, let me narrow this down a little bit. Will, what's your favorite fruit? Grapes. Good choice. Pass. Solid. That's Pass. very solid. I just wanted to lean in and say that. Thank you. What's Pat. your favorite fruit, Pat? Mine? Yeah. Uh, Probably avocado. What? I'm gonna you, come back to you, Pat. Hold tight. Hold <laughs> right here. That's the Pat right in, in the five years I've known you. That's the whitest shit I've ever heard. Of. <laughs> oh, Man, the avocado. All right, all right. <laughs> what? All right, just go fruit? enroll in Hogwarts and just leave us here. Like <laughs> oh, hit us with the avocado as the favorite fruit. Oh, Yo, what's your favorite? Green apples. Green apples are my. Oh apple. my God! What? Sour the caviar sour. of apples. Oh. The sour. Granny Smith. Hey, I hate green apples. Why? Why? Green apple candy. All I had to go with the pineapple, man. <laughs> Damn. Pineapple. I was saying. Uh, <laughs> hmm. Pineapple's a good one, too. Man, that's, a, it that, that's a lot of fruit to handle, kind of yeah. like watermelon, yeah. too. I'm kind of looking hey. at Pat and Cleo here as, 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 the, as the culprits. Simply because, the because, because the green apple is pretty much <laughs> sour. And you know, that's the opposite of the watermelon mystique. You know, watermelons are sweet. And and then Pat with the avocado, that's just, ain't nobody asked for all that, man. You knew what we was talking about. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, that's just like the the food, the fruit I'm eating a lot now. I, I don't know if that's 100% true. I'm, I'm going to go with Pat on this one. You ever had a good plum? <laughs> I love plums, actually. <laughs> Is it you? <coughs> it's me. Yeah. It's yeah. me. <coughs> You're deductive. Break it down, detective. Pat. Yeah. Detective, detective and I agree with Pat. I agree with him. Listen, a plum, a plum is the black musician that the apple stole from. You know what I mean? Like the plum is like the, the Motown version and then the apple is like the Elvis Presley version. You know what I mean? Like, damn. Where's the peach are, at? Is the peach like the like the plum's first wife who left it for the peach is, peach is like Janet Jackson. Peach is like that really really hot female female artist that like be selling out. You know, um, but I agree with that. I think damn. that plums they just hit harder. They're juicier one hundred percent of the time. I don't know why there's not more like smoothies and candies and and the apple just gets a lot of. The apples like the Patriots, like they're just cut and dry, meat and potatoes, just regular, you know, ah. but the, but it's still really solid. But it's like plums are just fire. And then like watermelon is good, 
but it's like how many black people were eating watermelon back in the day where it really stuck to us like that like it's cool i'll, I'll tell you why it's a, it's a very seedy uh backstory i like that pun yeah. propaganda was created because black people were making a living off growing and selling watermelons after slavery ended Oh, so, so they, they created, weren't even eating it like that. They created this propaganda. Uh, oh, they just consider they lazy and they eat watermelons when we were actually making a living off of watermelon. Oh, the song makes sense now. Nigga yeah, got so, watermelon, nigga. Oh, that makes sense now. Yeah, so it was like they was hating on us so for thriving hating. off of this Damn. fruit. Damn. Yep. Hey, that's why that first scene in Watchmen was so hard to watch. About to, to say, connected like, right back to Watchmen. I've never seen an actual depiction of the Black uh, Wall Street massacre. And it's just like, what? What? Why are you doing we, that? We, we can't have a damn thing. But I'll tell you this about plums, too. They have one of the highest wind, wind percentages in fruit. Facts. Like, it's Facts. rare that Facts. I have a plum. I'm just plum. like, this ain't it. Because we all know yep. fruit is a gamble. Shout yeah. out to Oh, my God, yes. But yeah. plums have a high wind ratio. That's a good I don't point. think I, feel, All right, I, yeah. I haven't had a bad plum. I will say that. I've had yeah, a bad watermelon. You, you know when you get the little mixed packages and you get like a bad rindy watermelon? Oh, it's yeah. terrible. Yeah, it'll ruin your whole psyche. I tell you this though, with the plums, it's almost like the only surprise is what color the bite is. Yep. You ever bite a plum? Like, Ooh, that's a white one. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, that's a red one. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's the only <laughs> Now here, here's, surprise. here's the only thing I say about this too, like, outside of like cut watermelon, like the process of having to pick watermelons, like, you know, like when you got to flick it and stuff to hear if it's hollow and everything like that. Like with plums, you ain't got to do that. Like Tony said earlier, like seed, like I can pick a plum up. I can hop in the car, <laughs> eat, throw that seed. I'm good to go. Like I can't be doing that with no big ass watermelon. Just like, hey, y'all ready to shoot? Let me, <laughs> let me finish this real quick. You got to cut it. You got to put the yeah. word in. Yeah, hold on. So, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yo, whole watermelon is trash. Yeah. Watermelon is fire, man. It's way yeah. more watery. But, okay. There you go. Oh, yeah, that was good. Okay. He's so, just uh, thinking about shit, though. Who yeah. hasn't gone yet? You haven't, Pat. Okay. I haven't, too. I'll do a uh, general black, black culture. All right. The general black culture. All right. What are some general black cultures? Um, I, I named the flavors of Kool-Aid. I don't say red, purple, and uh, orange and stuff. That's not a bad thing, because I feel like Tropical Punch is different than cherry. Tropical Punch is the quintessential Kool-Aid flavor. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Quintessential. Black cherry, myself. black cherry is fire. Black cherry, black cherry is, is the fire. most underrated but tropical Kool-Aid punch flavor. Is, I mean, that is just like, that is, that is the, that is the, that is the Navy Seals of Kool-Aid right there. <laughs> Black Cherry make you feel like you got money when you ain't got money. Like it'd be Black like- Black Cherry was like, damn near a wine cooler at the end yeah, of the day. Yeah, you know yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is what you did with it. Black Cherry. Didn't you? Yeah, that was premium baby mama Kool-Aid right there. Yeah, it is. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> I genuinely don't like this one. No. <laughs> Kadeem, you know me very well. Okay. I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> wow. <laughs> the fact that my mom's house has every form. You know that that picture of the black, like long people in the bar dancing that every black house has? Every. Oh, wow. That's why I'm laughing at this, bro. This is hilarious. Start the timer. Start Shout the out, Kadeem. Most African art is really kind of just porn in statue form. Who's this disrespectful? Okay, so Cleo is actually African, so I would hope that it's, that's not allowed. He's also a Disney star and ain't watched really nothing on Disney either. Wait, he watches Disney all the time, though. He ain't seen the Proud Family. Don't believe that. He drew that. a thing. He did this, and it was a thing. Wait, you ain't seen the Proud I Family? <laughs> He ain't never uh, seen the Proud Family. You seen the Proud Family? I never watched an episode of the Proud Family. I was more of Disney film than I was oh, Disney. Yeah, that makes sense. I don't, I don't really. I only saw Disney. that because I had kids watching the Disney Channel. Yeah, Otherwise, I've really never seen it. I don't really care. Hey, you know I love art. You've been to my house. You've seen how much art I got in my crib. That's what I'm saying. I don't, Disney got nothing to do with this. However, Will just tried to deflect really hard. Disney. Will, yeah. uh, you into African art? Yeah, bro. I went. I went to art school. How that don't mean anything. African art. Yeah. Is you anything, African art school? <laughs> you tell anything, me where there's an African art school. In, I mean, in, in Africa. Africa. What are you talking about? 
over there is this art school. <laughs> Touche. That's true. But also, who's more judgmental of art than other artists? That who would go sense. out of their way to judge art rather than somebody who's around all styles of art and they're just like, well, that's not art. You wouldn't say it's just art. You would just bash the piece. You I personally you don't think it's weird because you got these beads halfway down the dress like a Dothraki. And I just think as somebody who would do that, just the the well, Tony, you into African art? I like it. <laughs> mm. Strong that was argument. convincing. That was convincing. But I, I don't. I don't consider myself an art connoisseur. I mean, I like what I like, and I, but I don't know what I like. I just like it when I see it. Dang, this that just made it hard. CP, you're into African art. My last question. Uh, yeah, I was. Um, I was raised around it. That also oh, could that be looks kind of suspect. Okay. He was raised around it, and he thought it was porn the whole time. Damn. So my analysis really didn't get me anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Tony and Will and CP are even more suspicious than when we started. Mm -hmm. All right. Will's got the beads, man. I wouldn't, I wouldn't even go there. They're halfway down. Here's my like Will doesn't have art in his background. Yeah. Look, look how plain the back is. The brother has dread in here, man. He has uh -huh. dread jewelry. All right. Dread I'm jewelry. Gonna, I'm gonna dread eliminate, jury. I'm gonna eliminate Cleo. This probably would this analysis would probably get me fired from the force though. I'm gonna eliminate Cleo because he's African. I feel like CP would say this, and that's really the only reason. And he said I, I was raised around it, so I could see young CP being like, "Yeah, this is this is part in statue form." And then Tony didn't really have an opinion, so I don't think he'd attack it like that. But Will's an artist. <laughs> I'm gonna. I if I saw you guys on the lineup, I'm gonna have to say book CP. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> you ain't gonna say no, Will. Why so Sherry? <laughs> oh, I'm gonna make captain. His answer gave him away. He was like, I grew up around it. And then <laughs> I, was like, I was like, PTSD. Yo. Hey man, look, bro. <laughs> My mom had statues all through our house growing up. It was kente cloth everywhere. It was mud cloth. It was, I mean, and so she had this statue on our table of this woman who was breastfeeding what appeared to be a 17 year old man. <laughs> and I was like, what? And then none of our statues, they just, they just had like dicks like everywhere. Like, and it was just like, my mom, you know, I just was like, yo, like, this is just like creepy. My friends would come over and just like, oh, like, Sorry, everybody. My mom thinks African dicks are dope, and this is what we have in our house. It just, it was hard, bro. Like it was hard growing up, and I just was like, man, when I grow up, I'm, I'm probably not gonna have any African art in my house. I'm just gonna just have it like a very modern, cold, you know, what I'm saying <laughs> artless, you know, what I'm saying like glass, cement, metal house. That's just, I don't know. That's just what yeah, I've always wanted. When I was a, when I was a kid, I I thought that for the longest because uh we it was the same thing and so like my pops had like uh had like this doll or something that was inside like a cup that sat up and so he was always he always tell people like don't push don't pull it up and when you pull it up like this huge ass dick just falls and bounces. <laughs> wow. And I was, and I still never understood. I was like, I don't get what. <laughs> like that's what it's it did. Like, it's like a lot of African art could have came from Spencer Gifts sometimes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, <laughs> and, then, and, then, and then you don't want to be gay about it, so you like take the cup and you try to push the dick up first, and then try to push it down and stuff. Yeah. It's like you had to put the condom on the fake thing. You told me not to open it. Now you got to put the condom on. This Bruh, is true. This no is true. disrespect to African art. And I don't mean masks. I think masks are dope and all of that. Yeah. It's just, man, the statues, man, you know, they just, they made sure to let you know that the them kings and queens had it going on. And that's what it was, I guess. You know what I'm saying? So it's rough, man. It's rough. <laughs> all right, CP, you're Yo, up next. You're getting solved out here, man. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah, I know, right? Hey, CP, let's uh, let me, let me drop here. Let me let's let's do a uh, Lord. Let's do, let's do movies. Cause we already went around already, right? Yeah. Cool. You know what? I think we're gonna do movies. All right. Cool. Call the movies. <laughs> do we got any blasphemous movies going on right now? Anything? Oh, he, ha he has to, cause he suggested it. No, I'm yeah. saying. I feel like 
I feel like he saw it. And he was like, famous yeah. blasphemous movie situation. Oh, um, Cleo has never seen Harlem Nights. That's oh, why. Cleo, you're doing yourself a disjustice. Please. That's because he don't respect that. Eddie Murphy's comedy. I've never seen Creed though, or Creed Two. Well, that's Man. not as bad as Harlem Nights. Yeah, I agree. Oh, um, <laughs> I've never seen State Property or Billy. That's not that bad. I didn't particularly enjoy Scarface. Scarface is wet. You know what? It was I, all right, but I it think was Scarface is overrated. I didn't like it. I oh, do too. I do too. Thank you. This Very background, inaccurate. I love it though. Tony I love Scarface. Oh, was a, oh, was oh. Up. I do have a blast with this one. I think Joanna Man is a cinematic masterpiece. You on your own on that one. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I never even bothered hey. to watch that movie. I Yo. was disappointed in Tommy Davidson, who was one of my heroes back then. I was like, what are you doing? <laughs> Lord of the Rings is the best trilogy. Ever? New Edition getting back together for the third time is the best trilogy. It's a better trilogy than Lord of the Rings. But like just of all trilogies, like one, two, and three? Well, let's name some trilogies. <coughs> back Die to Hard. The back to the Ooh. future. Back, Back to, to the future. future. That wasn't hey. Back to the Future Three didn't it didn't land well for me, and then and then that's where we left it. Oh, some uh, good. Oh, you talking about good trilogies? The Matrix. Matrix. The Matrix. Matrix. I think that I thought that at the end of Matrix Three, everything <laughs> made more sense, and it just left <laughs> like, oh, okay. Now I got to go to work and act like I know what the fuck I just watched. The it Matrix, was like they started. The Matrix over. steadily went down as they went. The Matrix, and then reloaded, and then. Revolutions yep. was underneath yep. the table. Yeah. Yep. Um, uh, Austin Powers. Austin Powers. I didn't I like the third three. one. The second one was the masterpiece. There was only three? Yeah. 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 The only three. I Who Shagged yeah, Me I was a masterpiece. Yeah. That's, that that's like one of my favorites of all time. Yeah. Gold yeah. member was Is that, that the one with Britney Spears in the very beginning, or is that the third one? That's the I, third one. That's the third one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Spy who shagged me and then so gold? Then where's gold member at? Gold member is the third one. Third. That's gold the one we'll be honest. honest. I love gold. I love gold. Nah, we nah, don't probably know your number two. CP's time. This should all count as CP's time. All right, oh. count CP's time. Oh. Come on. <laughs> Pat, um, what do you know about Lord of the Rings? Okay, this is weird. Contrary to what everybody thinks about me, never really seen it. People think that I would super fan out about this, and this is like my 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 shit. But yep. I yep. saw the first one, I think, and I I, I didn't see any. I'm any not of gonna lie, you strike me as the kind of guy who would look through a pair of his old jeans and be like, "Ooh, what are my Lord of the Rings tickets?" You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, you know, so like you've had that experience. Uh, Tony, what you think about Lord of the Rings? Here's what I think about Lord of the Rings. They had a cheat code to the game because they 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 shot it all at once so there was less room for error so in that case they had the cheat code for it to be seamless i guess mm -hmm. so they didn't have to gather everybody back around and lose cast members and do all of this that and the third and so they did all for one one shot that's genius though because then you think about it nobody them then became a star that came back oh, all yeah. sunglasses on top right of the head in. all right cleo what Yo, do you think about lord of the rings i think lord of the rings is great I think it's a great uh, trilogy for sure. Uh, Elijah Wood didn't get a chance to really do much else after that. The only thing that bothers me about Lord of the Rings is the guy who plays the Elven King. He got a chance to be a part of that trilogy, and he was Smith in the Matrix trilogy. He had okay. 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 Man, okay. Elijah did Will and, and also seconds. this. He was okay. the voice of Megatron in, in the Transformers movie. Will, what and do you think about Lord of the Rings? Lord of the Rings is trash. It's right, a cool. trash-ass trilogy. I agree. I agree. It's a whole walking movie. Not even that I agree. I've just, I just never seen it because it seemed as if it was trash to my spirit. All right. Um, That's a shock, Will. That would definitely be up your alley. I'm just saying. No, no. I'm looking at, I'm looking at Tony and Cleo. I'm looking at Tony and Cleo. Both of those body languages did not help y'all at all. <laughs> Both of those shifts in attitude did not help y'all at all. It, it actually, I almost feel like both y'all did it. So let me just think about this again real quick. <laughs> uh, it didn't flick the first time, so it fucked up the feel of it. I'm going to go with Cleo.
Listen, bro, I got big ears. And I did appreciate the fact that how big your people were representing Lord of the Rings. They were like the strongest folks. It's like Elvis. So I felt empowered when I watched that film. But, but I didn't say that. You didn't say this. Tony Baker. No <laughs> way. Oh! What? You? Really, Tony? Oh. The Ever? best trilogy? You said they had the cheat code. Rings. I was like, wait a minute. But Lord I was of the just... Rings is the strongest trilogy ever made. And it's part of the reason why I just said they were able to shoot it all at one time. So everything flowed. Ain't ain't no weak part in it. <laughs> Low key, how he described oh, that. Lot. I gotta watch it now. I ain't gonna ain't lie. No, ain't, ain't, no, ain't no weak, ain't no weak installment in the whole trilogy. CP, yeah. if you if you've ever watched Clerks 2, the dude yeah. in Clerks 2 explains Lord of the Rings perfectly. And that is exactly what it is. It that is means six. nothing to us right now, though, Will. Uh, <laughs> All right, so then I, I, I'll refrain from it. Is six hours of a walking film? It's we're not. Going, that's not true. We're actually, going, it's, we're, actually, it's nine hours, sir. It's three hours. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's it's that nine hours of cardio to. I, well, I don't want to spoil. I it. don't think you saw it, Will. I don't want to spoil it for you. Real? I don't think you seen the movie. Did you see? Oh, I, oh, I saw. Oh, I saw the movies, and I saw. I saw what the after credits was wait, with wait, that wait, porno wait, wait, with Frodo. Hey, don't spoil it. Don't spoil it. No. Yeah, see, I don't want. That's why, because he don't might think watch you. Saw all three. I can't. But listen. Tony, yeah, Star Wars, one of the all-time great things. You don't like better than Star Wars. Okay, wow. what about what about? I never the, got into Star Wars. Three. Star Wars Planet don't have a story plot. What'd you say, Cleo? What about the most recent Planet of the Apes movies? It's better than those three. Because because like the last it. Planet of the Apes. Wait, is it four of those or three? No, nah, it's more now. It's, it's three. Yeah. Four, right? The last ones that just came out, the ones before, the most recent. The, the one, it was, it was, it was. One, the second one was the best of the three. Yes. And, and the third one, we kind of like, yeah, cool, cool. But it wasn't like Lord of the Rings had a hard finish. Okay. I will give them that. I will give them that. I think out of when you got trilogies wise, even though for what they were, I don't. I think the movie is whack, but they did end dope with that big battle they had. That is probably one of the best like battle scenes in cinematic history. Like everybody will tell you that. So I'll say that rest of the movie is boring, but they had a strong finish. And most trilogies, it's always either that last one that just don't even, ever bring it home. Like even Blade. as strong as the Dark Knight trilogy is, the Dark Knight Rises was disappointing. Oh yeah, well that's because Christian Bale is Batman and he's trash. Stop, like, hey, hey, Will, stop. He was great. He was not trash, bro. Christian Bale was a good. He was a good Batman. Ben Affleck was the worst crazy. Batman. Ben good. Affleck and Michael Keaton are the best Batmans in live action. I can't history. argue with that. I can't argue with that. History. Let me tell you why. Christian Bale, first of all, is not a believable Batman. Stop. He is five. He is five one. He I am not that gonna, short. Will what he is Christian Bale is very short to oh, play Batman. Up, I'm googling this Tom, to Tom play Cruise. Batman. Tom Cruise is shorter than Christian Bale. And Absolutely. he does every mission impossible. Facts. That's because I they think do Michael the Keaton is shorter than Christian Bale. But see, That's I like believed it. Michael Keaton as a great Bruce Wayne. Now, Christian Bale was a great Bruce Wayne. He was a great asshole. I will give I will give him that. Christian Bale is six feet. Not believable still. Didn't Which even tall, believe it. It's tall for Hollywood, though. That is tall ben for Affleck. Hollywood. But Listen, it's Batman. Ben Affleck is six four. Tom Hardy, the guy who played Bane is the shortest of everybody that we just named. He's 5'9". And they was right here to each other. How about this was that? Wow. I they mean, he's probably standing box, on an Joe. apple box, right? What are you talking hey, about? Yeah. No, no, I'm I'm sick, no, no, no. I'm sick of Hollywood getting these midget they do that? <laughs> to play right. these, like, look, when Ben Affleck became Batman, that was the scariest Batman I've ever seen. Like, if you were Agreed. in that room when he was hanging like this, Agreed. and he just jumped out, you would have ran out. Scary. I feel like I feel like when Ben Affleck was Batman, they nailed his fight scene the best out of any Batman movie I've ever seen. When he went to save Superman's mom, that's the best Batman fight scene to date. And he played the best cynical Batman we've had to date. The one that lost everything. He's still doing this stuff, and now he got to train the new cats. There you go. He did get over his parents' death, though, man. It was a long time ago. Enough of that shit. <laughs> <laughs> Enough of that shit, Bruce. Bruce? Get over. I feel oh. like he's seen a lot more that should kind of like, like, that ain't nothing compared to what you didn't see. Like, Robin turned into the Joker. Like, that's a lot. 
Wait, Robin turned into money, the Joker? He can't cure, yeah, he can't yeah. cure Selena Kyle. That's yeah. the crazy part. When he did Robin turn into so the Joker? He oh. wants Selena Kyle so bad, and Good. he got all the money in the world. It's like, hey, bro, she's a klepto. You got to let her steal, my nigga. She ain't going to be happy unless she's stealing. She don't give a right. fuck about the mansion. Fuck right. that mansion. You got to steal the mansion. You got a whole. You but got what a you whole. Do is, you, you put a little gift shop in your basement. You let her steal from it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But I can think about it. He replaced it every time. And then he up, he upgraded to even worse. Then he met a chick that's like, I want to destroy the world. Oh, I definitely need to drop a seed in this then. You trying oh. to destroy the world? Let me go ahead and smash Raja Ghoul's daughter. No, nah, that's then... not true. She date raped him. That's not true. Oh, God. Okay. You know, anyway. Raja Ghoul. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, Raja Ghoul was a scary motherfucker, too. He yeah, he was. He was. Um, He's so put I... fear in Batman's heart. Now, you understand that? Like... But, I, but I challenge y'all to give me a better trilogy. Right. Return, ah, Return of the Jedi kind of fumbled the ball a little bit. Yeah. Star Wars don't have no story plot. What about the first three Borns? Did it ruin the trilogy because... You know what? Were... Born Identity, that's a dope trilogy. I feel like the second one was just cool, though. How was Bad Boys? It's not as strong as Lord of the Rings. Come on. Nah, not come on, CP. That's how you come on. Wow. That third one was terrible. Wow. Indiana Jones would have had a good argument had they not made a fourth. Huh. See, and that's the thing. It's like so many trilogies that were trilogies aren't any yeah. Like Die Hard had a shot, but then but I think that I think that what you did, Tony, that was that was absolutely that's the reason why to shoot it all at once so that these stars don't go off and destroy themselves with drugs and women and you know what I'm saying like to just keep them all there and shoot it like a TV show almost for like ten. Know that that's sad. They paid off in New Zealand for years. Yeah, and then when they when they started for years, the Hobbit must have a year in this change. There's some change. Oh, now I will say one that was a good trilogy. Um, it, it's it's not as big as Lord of the Rings, so I, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna put it, but just say it was good. Um, the girl that uh the girl with the dragon tattoo series, uh, that was a good one. That was talking about the original or remake. The original, not the remake. The original. Okay, I, haven't, I haven't seen the original. Um, I was gonna say the Mighty Ducks, but uh, come on, man, come on. Man. All right, well, here we go. Next one. <laughs> 